Yes, this video is about one of the greatest adventures in life. Romance, love, choosing and keeping a mate. My name is Dennis Fitzpatrick and I am the author of Dating by Brain Type. I am a supervisor of counselors for various agencies in Las Vegas, Nevada. I became interested in brain types after I found that the description of my brain type fit me perfectly. Then, when I discovered that I married a woman with the identical brain type of my mother, I was amazed. I was especially surprised since my bride spoke no English and I did not speak Japanese. Here is a history of brain types. Carl Jung, the great Swiss psychiatrist, established the four mental functions. Then the mother-daughter team of Myers-Briggs developed it further. In our own time, Jonathan Niednagel is researching his theory that brain types are related to brain cortex motor skills and is therefore genetic and not psychological as described by his predecessors. He has startled the sports world by correctly identifying the one brain type that produces a great quarterback and the brain types of basketball players by position. It is thought that 65% of our abilities are genetic and the other 35% are due to upbringing and education. 80% of the public are extroverts and only 20% are introverts. This chart lists the four basic categories of brain types. Once I determine them, I know my brain type. A questionnaire is included in my book. Basically, I want to know if I am more of a loner or joiner. Am I more into the moment or more visionary? Am I a logical thinker or more into feelings? Am I very organized or more loose and free? My book gives a description of each of the 16 brain types. You can check if my description fits you, your mate, and children. This is especially useful for identifying the range of careers suitable to the brain type of your children. If you are looking for a partner that doesn't talk so much, you might like an introvert. If you want someone who is fun and into the moment, you might like a sensate. If you want a partner that can talk about his feelings, you might want a feeler. If you are very organized and you can't stand to live with a messy mate, you might like the judging type. My book is not only about mating and dating by brain type, but includes dating skills before and after marriage. I think that there are 13 key questions that should be asked before moving in with someone. I want to determine if the other is a victim thinker or a creator by asking about their last relationship. If the answer is that all is the fault of the last person, I am probably talking to a victim thinker. On the other hand, if the other says that they need to learn more about how to make a relationship work, I am talking to a creator. I also want to know if the other can resolve conflict, is emotionally needy, a controller or enabler, and so on. I also offer my credit report and want to see theirs. There are five basic genetic needs in life. These are great predictors of the success or not of a relationship. I recommend that they be reviewed when dating and later each year in a marriage since relationships change. Do I use the other or alcohol or drugs to meet my love and belonging needs? Or am I with the other, not because I need them, but because they enhance me? What is the power balance in the relationship? Can we honor our differing freedom needs? Is there couple fun? What about survival needs such as handling money and security needs? More detailed explanations are in my book. If I had a sick relationship in the past, I want to ask myself the three key questions on the slide. What was wrong with me that I attracted and chose a sick mate? Why did I stay in the sick relationship so long? 
Have I changed myself so I don't attract another sick person? Martin, age 10, was asked, What do most people do on a date? He answered, On the first date they just tell each other lies, and that usually gets them interested enough to go for a second date. This might be the way some first dates turn out, but they don't need to. I suggest a model of authentic dating in my book with my first date impression exercise. It enables you to decide whether or not to continue dating, even after one date. There is also a version of this exercise for marrieds. One of the key skills in a relationship before and after marriage, or coupling, is dance. Here is a photo of me dancing with my wife. There are nine reasons to dance listed on the slide. Dance is really extended foreplay. It involves touching for several hours. It is also a public declaration of the state of the relationship. The lady will spend great preparation energy on her dress, hair, shoes, second only to her wedding day. The man can at least learn to dance. To order Dating by Brain Type, go to my website, dennisf.us. If you have any questions, email me at dennis at dennisf.us and I will get back to you. Thank you.